you know, through all these years, my mother has tried desperately to keep my religious influences alive with her many, many religious trinkets. For example, the blessing, blessing gift. I hang this on my bedroom, and when I need a little lift, I dip, I dab, and off I go. And I bet you I could out-trade every one of you with my all-star saints and virgin trading cards. <laughs> These really come in handy. But my favorite is the holy water traveling bottle. Because you never know when you're going to little lift when you're traveling, you know? <laughs> My mother hates that part. <laughs> but you know, I never really thought about changing my religion, never, until I moved to New York City. And I was eating in an Asian restaurant, and I looked up and I saw that little statue of Buddha, all fat, with his little belly hanging out, and the little t-shirt trunk, and everything's like, oh, whatever. And then I think about our guy, Jesus, all fat and skinny up there, and I understand the circumstances, please. <laughs> I know the deal. But really, my mom should relax because even in the most shaken times in my life, praying has stirred my soul and kept me from falling apart.